Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Last episode of Baggio today, we're looking at him from the age of 30 through to his retirement at the age of 36. We're in 2038, he has retired at the age of 36. But before we get into today's episode, really appreciate if you drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the new series which is featuring around Roberto Baggio and his hometown of Caldonio. I'll put a link in the description below for an intro video about the series, only two minutes long. If you could stay tuned, story starts in Serie D, new club, we've got some legends, we've got Casaraghi as my assistant manager, we've got some other other former players involved, we've got a sugar daddy, um, we've also got a brand new stadium, all a little bit put together to make one very different series that has been going around in my head for a while. So please... Jump over to the channel on Saturday as well to watch episode number one. But enough of that, let's get into today's video. Right, so here we are. Baggio has retired, age 36. He didn't get a move back to Italy, which is a shame. He is actually in the game as a coach now. I have fast forwarded on to halfway, I think December 20. 39 to another sort of like 13, 14, 15 months and he hasn't found a job. Um, so today will probably be the last, well it will be, be the last episode of this mini series. So today, today we're just going to look back at his last six seasons, see how he's got on and then have a very, very brief look at his career from start to finish. How many trophies did he rack up? So let's dive in, let's see how he did. So we left it there in 2032 with Italy when they won the European uh, Championship. He's then had a Carabao Cup, an FA Cup, a Confederations Cup, a Premier League, Community Shield, another Premier League, three Premier Leagues, 24, 25, 20, 30, sorry, 36. A Champions League, get in! Champions League to finish with United. They didn't win it in 2038 or 2037. We won it the last two seasons. City, can we dive in? We'll dive in and have a look at the final game. So United won on penalties against City. He is down sub-11, unused sub. And as you can see from his career stats, his last sort of like season... He smashed in plenty of goals in non-competitive. He only made two starts overall. One in the cup, one in the league. 21 a sub. Um, still playing for Italy though. Two, two goals in nine games. Four goals for the season. So he didn't feature much. But he's contributed for a sub. One goal. He's contributed in the season. He did tail off. Goal-wise, look. 38. Still made 38. Nearly 50 appearances. Where did we leave it? We left it here. So he has been on a bit. He had a good season there. A good, really good season there. But 36 of the league games. 20, 31 of the league games. Then it really deteriorated there. Then he went to six, only six starts. And then in his last season, one start. Maybe should have left. Especially in that final season, he should have left. But decent way to finish his career. So in 2033, he got the... Champions League Golden Boot, forward of the season award, third best player in the Confederations Cup, named in the European Champions Cup Dream Team, shortlifted for FIFA Men's Player of the Year, named in the team, I don't think there's any more Ballon d'Ors, no more Ballon d'Ors, Mbappe is now a, a fitness coach, he finished with 201 caps, so we haven't quite, quite reached, there he's only won it once, where did we leave it? 30, 32. Didn't even get in the three. Does he ever reappear? I don't think he does, does he? No. Lasana Bamba. Ooh. Sharp. Very sharp. So, so in all, 583 appearances. 258 goals. That's just league. Right. What I'm going to do... Bear with me, I'm going to find my little notepad and I'm going to quickly go through his full stats. Because that only does league, doesn't it? That bottom number is just league. So I'm going to go through his full stats 
add them up and see how many goals and maybe even assists. So I do assists, yeah. I'll get my notepad out, it's just up, up there, and then I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so final stats for Baggio. Club career, 865 appearances, 364 goals. If you add in the caps for Italy, which was 168 caps and 86 goals, He's on 1,033 career appearances and 450 goals. What a career from a boy who was playing centre mid for a bit, attacking mid, also up front. So he's done probably better, def- so I'm saying definitely better than what he did in, his real, in, in real life. I think he only got 50-odd caps, 57, I think, caps for Italy. Obviously, he's the, he's, the, he's the leading goal scorer for, the, for Italia, who need a manager. All-time 86. He was so close as well. Eight appearances, one more season, and he would have probably overtaken Buffon. So, guys, that's it. Experiment done. Thank you very much for tuning in. We may do another experiment with another player at some point, um, but this now ties nicely into the new series that we've got starting on Saturday with Baggio, manager. Me playing as Baggio, should I say manager at Caldonio Calcio. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please drop a like in there. Subscribe to the channel. And once again, if you would like me to do another experiment, just put a name down in the comments of a former player you would like me to recreate. I am thinking Paul Gascoigne. Let me know in the comments what you think. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. See you later.